Imagine a future where you're no longer stuck in traffic, but instead floating freely in the air, driving your own personal vehicle. Two recent innovations are stealing the show, the newly launched Volanort Airbike and the earlier Hoversurf Hoverbike S3. Both offer the sensation of flying solo, but with a very different approach. Launching on May 1, 2025, the Volanort Airbike is the masterpiece of Thomas Patton the man behind the Jetson 1. It looks like a real flying motorcycle, incredibly light 7 times lighter than a superbike thanks to carbon fiber materials and cutting-edge 3D printing techniques. With no protective frame around the pilot, the sensation of flying is raw, open, and immersive. It's not just a means of transportation, it's an experience a statement about freedom, bravery, and technology beyond limits. On the other hand, the Hoverbike S3 from a Russian company based in California offers a more mature and structured approach. Already in use by the Dubai police since 2017, this hoverbike looks like a cross between a giant drone and a futuristic motorcycle. With four propellers and a carbon monocoque frame, it is capable of generating up to 364 kilograms of thrust. Equipped with an ergonomic seat, joystick and digital dashboard, the Hoverbike S3 gives the impression of an aerial vehicle that's ready to make its way into the public transportation system if you're prepared to spend a lot, of course. The airbike can accelerate to 200 km per hour with full visibility and a smart stabilization system. The Hoverbike S3 is slower about 96 km h but excels in safety features like emergency landing and impact protection. Two different approaches, one pure freedom, the other full control. These two vehicles point to different directions for the future. The airbike is the minimalist dream of thrill-seekers, while the Hoverbike S3 brings structure and public readiness. Clearly, the future of personal transportation is flying towards the sky. Thanks for watching.